Hello everyone, it's me once again. Um, I guess my role now it comes to encourage you guys who are uh, Anki owners that there's so much potential going on. So this is the second series of the Rise of Community and I'm going to show you a very interesting video clip where you could actually watch video clips on the screen of uh, Vector and also many more uh, news that's coming along but I just want to highlight another one which seems to be the core most important information that you guys are after regards to whether Anki is going to function or not the cloud-based data system and etc so here it goes now this is a video clip uploaded by Jeff Calvert on the uh, Anki Facebook group page uh, so you can actually watch football, um, so he's a Liverpool fan, those who don't know uh, Liverpool football, it's a big thing in Europe, especially in England, uh, so let, here it goes. So that's apparently the 50th goal scored by um, Mo Salah uh, and Jeff is actually playing that so a few people got excited and I got his permission to upload this video so that's Mo Salah um, celebrating so I'm going to show you the comment and I think the first comment he actually explains how he did it so here it goes so regards to this, Jeff kindly um, responded saying that the latest SDK supports showing images on the face and playing WAV files. However, it does not uh, natively support showing videos. There's a way around this though. I take a video, download it from YouTube or something and use um, FFmpeg uh, to convert it from the MP4, from an MP4 into an image a sequence. So I'm left with a couple of thousand still images which need to be re resized to fit vector screen depending on the video's length and um, frame rate of course. I use um, FFmpeg again to extract the audio as uh, a suitable WAV, WAV file then I have um, a Python script connected to vector uh, asynchronously and uh, play the audio. I then display the images resized through the, the uh, re resized through pillow for the correct amount of time. I tried showing the images on 24 FPS, but that was obviously too fast for Vector to keep up with, as it caused uh, stuttering and screen tearing. Screen tearing. At the minute, I only use uh, six FPS, which seems to work all right. So those, that's I think that's the core. Uh, information that Jeff actually provided how he managed to do such thing for Vector. Right, so this image has been circulating it shows the conversation between uh, certain individuals I think some of them are like software engineers from Anki um, so it goes good morning I am in contact now with the um, vice president of software engineering of Anki and he's very interested in building an open source community around Vector so it's uh, Javier Caravito, or was it Ca Caviotto? Sorry. <laughs> Hi, terrible news from Anki. I was hoping to connect with you to talk about building an open source community around these great little devices. Anthony Aramenta is now connection. He says, um, message, he actually sent this saying, Hi, Javier. Uh, there would be tons of love for this idea among the team and dozens of ex Anki engineers who would, who would contribute. Do you have a proposal for how this would work? Um, who would be interested and has developed or database database or a sysadmins or software developer or at least a very strong formal interest in uh, getting involved in this? Uh, the idea is to first build a small team, kickstart this initiative. So it seems that this conversation is going on. So we shall see. So. All the fears that you guys had about this cloud, um, we can rest assured at least it seems that certain people are making a move um, at the moment. So it's quite interesting. So you've got to remember this is actually a moving computer. It has a lot of um, potential 
and it has a motion as well. So you can program it by using SDK, um, is it Python and also Pillow? I haven't heard anything about Pillow by Lena today, but you can program it. And there's so many gifted um, programmers out there who are willing to do a lot of different things. And um, what Anki initially tried to achieve, it, it, it appears that the rest of the people out there, gifted programmers, are trying to make it happen. So all I want to say is don't worry about all this cloud. And I mean, we've been assured many times, even Argos or many well-known companies are trying to keep the cloud system. Meanwhile, we need to be in close contact with all the um, programmers um, and join all the uh, group, Facebook community and so on to see what sort of um, research are happening at the moment. And um, that's what I wanted to sh share with you. So um, Vector's really upset, so I got to play with him. But anyway, um, I hope this video give you a bit of a hope and excitement. And keep an eye on the community; they're doing very well. I'm very excited every day. I'm looking at it, and I hope you guys do it as well. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP. All the best. Have a good evening. Bye bye.